Good morning. So it's my fifth morning waking up here in the Zuni Mountains. Uh, this campsite's been great. I would recommend it to anybody, especially if you ride mountain bikes. I got uh, three amazing rides in this week. Each were over 20 miles and got to explore different single track in each ride. Uh, the trails out here are, are really smooth and flowy, uh, curving through juniper forests and uh, it's pristine. The single track is really narrow and there's a few techie spots, a few flowy descents, but for the most part it's just smooth, easy cross-country riding for miles uh, and you can't beat that. Uh, a little bit of sand here and there but uh, nothing too bad, but for the most part just a smooth flowy single track twisting through the ponderosa trees. Really, really enjoyed it. So I'm pretty much done riding in this area. I've been waiting out the weather. Uh, yesterday there was a nasty windstorm. Even though it was warm, it was 70 degrees. I was bunkered down in the van, dodging 35 mile per hour wind gusts all day long. So that was a little tiring, but that's how it goes out here. Um, I thought about leaving early or waiting out the storm truthfully driving this van and 35 mile per hour wind gusts sounded horrible it's probably even worse out on the highway than that so I figured I'd wait it out for a couple days uh, today is actually not as windy but cold air moved in so I think the high is going to be 40 degrees right now it is a wonderful uh, 28 degrees right now but uh, I do have my heater running and uh, it's nice toasty 65 degrees in here I probably don't need my hat and puffy vest at this point, but uh, I did earlier when things were warming up. But so yeah, five days free camping and I really feel like I'm figuring out how to do van life on the cheap. So the key is, is doing what I'm doing right now. Get your supplies, get your water, get your propane, find a great place to stay that you can buckle down for at least a week. And that really makes the travel worthwhile. Because bottom line, when I am not moving, when I am not traveling, I'm not spending money. When I'm set up at a camp and I have everything I need here and I'm not going anywhere, I spend no money. So for the past five days, uh, We'll say five and a half days. I left Sunday, Sunday morning. I uh, I have spent no money, so really saving a lot of money just by setting myself up like this and uh, and using my supplies and going off of that. Now tomorrow I am going into Gallup and I'm going to resupply um, food, water, and laundry. Definitely need to do laundry. My bike stuff is really really nasty, so. So, uh, yeah, so the weather's been kind of a bummer the past couple of days, but I did have like three or four days of just amazing, perfect weather, 70 degrees, no wind, um, sunshine all day long. So that's how it is. It's April, and it's going to be hit or miss every week until we get further into May and the, the weather patterns start to taper out and it just uh, gets, gets warmer every day. So uh, as far as uh, meeting some people, I, I met some people while I, was, while I was out here. It was definitely very remote and, and very secluded but um, on my bike rides I did manage to run into some people. I ran into this really cool couple from St. George. I believe their names were Kai and John. They were great. They gave me tons of information on the St. George area and the Escalante area which I'm planning on heading to um, in early May for some backpacking so they gave me a bunch of tips. Um, they mentioned Stevens Pass, so luckily I remembered that, and the Rainbow Ridge Trail on the north rim of the um, Grand Canyon. So those are two areas that I'm going to be seeking out. Um, going forward I'm going to be really uh, making my way towards that, um, it's called the Rainbow Ridge Trail and it's on the north rim of the Grand Canyon. I've read amazing reviews and now it's been highly recommended to me by this couple Kai and John. So um, I'm going to make my way there. Uh, I looked at Google navigation. It's going to be about a seven hour drive. I'm not going to do that in one day. I'm going to try to break it up in two trips. So tomorrow I'm going to uh, pack up, make my way into Gallup, which is just uh, maybe 30 minutes away. I'm going to resupply 
and get some food and then in the afternoon I'm going to do a bike ride. There's another trail system lower down in the desert um, that looks great that I, I just haven't been able to incorporate yet. So uh, tomorrow's the day to do that. I'm going to do it in the afternoon. It's going to warm up a little bit. The wind's going to die down. Sun's going to come out. So I'll certainly take advantage of that trail tomorrow afternoon. And then from there um, there's actually a rest stop right outside of the border of New Mexico and Arizona, I think it's on the Arizona side, that you can camp for free, there's bathrooms, apparently it's noisy, there's trucks and trains and cars, obviously it's right off the highway, I can deal with that, but uh, it's a free place to stay right off the highway, it looks like a good option, I can basically take all day and gallop tomorrow to resupply and do that bike ride, uh, maybe I can squeeze in a shower in there, we'll see. But uh, that's the plan for tomorrow, really looking forward to it actually, it's, it's always exciting to um, to move on and, and plan your next adventure, although the Zuni Mountains have been great. I really had a f great feeling about this this area. I don't, I can't really tell you why, but I did, and it's absolutely come to truth. It, it's been perfect. It's just everything I wanted. A, a free place to stay and a beautiful forested campsite with tons and tons of mountain biking in the area. That's that's perfect that's ideal that's what I'm going to be going for as I continue forward on my my journeys is finding these destinations where there's all kinds of activities and I can keep myself busy there's nothing better than doing you know a three four hour bike ride in the morning coming back you know petered out tired ready just to kick it eat some food and relax at the campsite and to me that's just the perfect day so um, that's all I have for now. Things have been going absolutely great still. No complaints and can't wait for my next adventure.